If this is going to be another trailer with no new footage in it, I'll be so freaking mad. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Man, how many trailers has it been so far? Like, with the whole Chinese leaks and everything, like what, four, five? They literally released a trailer for their trailer! <laughs> so far we learned that Jinx was never insane by default, that Vi is her sister and caretaker, that Caitlyn will be there in all of her posh glory, the vendor might be Warwick pre-kidnapping and experimentation, that Silco might be related to Singed, and that Mel looks like she's too rich to give a fuck. I won't be going into too much detail about any of them, because I'm currently working on a video that's supposed to prep you for Arcane. I know many are not aware of why us lore readers are so hyped about it, so I'm making an all-you-need-to-know-about-arcane video for all you lore younglings and newcomers. The video will cover the history, some basic knowledge about the characters, and will be released before the series starts. This way, everyone will be in on the info and we could all get excited together. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. And start. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Looks like Piltover. Ooh. Can we remember this from the previous trailer? I'd say no monster's gonna get you when I'm here. Oh, baby! Then a real monster showed up. <gasps> Silco! Oh my god! I have to find her. Did he kidnap her? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my god! Smaller every day. Up there. This is beautiful. The top side is leaving the undercity further behind. <gasps> Mel! I believe I've discovered something incredible. Oh, Jason Victor! You don't Dung? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh fuck, dude. Imagining yourself a hero. Then what are you waiting for? Jesus! More lives may be. Oh! The Undercity cannot be controlled. My mask king, though. <laughs> oh shit! What have you done with my sister? Oh no. I'll give her your regards. Oh fuck. The cycle of violence will never stop. Caitlin! She's too far gone. I have to try. You've got a good heart. They experimented on her! Don't ever lose it. Protect the family. Ah! <laughs> Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. Oh, baby! Wait, is that Jace? There was a hammer! Ooh. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Hide squad, we gotta go back. We gotta go way back. I, I just, I need to go over this one more time. Okay, so when she asks this lady cyborg where her sister is, she just says she sends her regards. So question is whether or not she was kidnapped or if Jinx had chosen to join the bad guys per se, because like Vi had left her at some point because like, we have that one other trailer where, like, you know, she punches um, uh, the punching bag thingy and she's all on her own and clearly she has a lot of pent-up anger with Vi because something happened between them. So the question is, if after all that shit and, like, she realizes that she wasn't strong enough, she had decided to go to Silco to, like, you know, juice her up. So this is pretty intense. That's just me like throwing theories up in the air, okay? Uh, also fucking Warwick. You can't tell me that's not Warwick. I will fight y'all. This is Warwick. It has to be Warwick. And it's just like, <laughs> oh my god, this is 
is so cute. If anybody asks who I simp, it's gonna be him. I'm sorry, DILFs are hot. I don't make the rules. He also mentions that they are family, uh, which is actually something interesting because uh, in a previous trailer where, uh, uh, in like a leak uh, that was released onto YouTube, uh, Jinx was asking Vi if they should tell him about this plan that they had, and Vi was like, no. So on one end, I guess he sees them as family, but Vi is very skeptical and doesn't like trust anyone around her besides maybe Jinx. And like, she wants to be like, you know, she wants to be the hero. She wants to be the adult who takes care of everyone. Um, but clearly that is crumbling down and not really working the same way she thought it would. It's pretty freaking intense. I also wonder like how the fuck she ended up hanging out with Jace and why they were like fighting side by side. And speaking of Jace, can we like just talk about that for a second? Cause not only did we get him, but we also got a maskless soft Victor and Donger. Like, yeah, they were both teased on Twitter, but I didn't expect them to actually get mixed up with the girls. I assume that what they were wearing is their university uniform, because that would make sense why they showed Donger in the first place. Which, by the way, is a massive surprise, because I didn't expect to see a Yordle. We still didn't get a proper answer as to whether or not he's using Glamour, but we're seeing him as an actual Yordle to not confuse newcomers that come to see the show for the first time. Or if the whole Glamour thing has been retconned and Pilties don't have any issues with Yordles anymore. Or they're just making a massive exception because Donger is kind of running their university, so... <laughs> Also, I swear to God, if y'all gonna make Victor a bad guy, I'm gonna be so mad. But that is something that I will expend on in my next video. <laughs> and that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon, donation pages, or become a member. Huge thanks to today's supporters. Mossnag, Enamorado, It's Fine Pal, Diamond, Bacon, Torben, Ida, Nox Plus, Jset, Kovu, Emma Rossa, and Find, Ripash, Clockwork Ronin, and TV Skine for making this video possible. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>